Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you guys can see, I will be talking about tobacco fragrances. I will be going over the different kinds of tobacco in my fragrances. Some are dry, some are honey tobacco, while some are more on the very realistic tobacco scent. This is a tobacco white floral sweet woody fragrance. It has tobacco, honeysuckle, cedar, and spices. But if I could simply describe to you guys how this one smells like, it smells like cigarettes like literal ones, unburnt cigarettes, and you have that hint of sweetness because of the presence of honeysuckle in here. The woody notes, cedar, yes, it's there. It's not really that prominent. What I get a lot in this is that very dry cigarette-like tobacco scent. This is not the kind of like disgusting, icky kind of tobacco cigarette smoke or cigarette kind of scent because this one doesn't smell like cigarette smoke. This one smells like cigarettes. So this one is a very artistic kind of fragrance because given the whole, you know, the whole look, this looks like a lighter or a cigarette case. And, you know, with the whole fashion of how the Olsen twins are, they own this line, Elizabeth and James, you know, with their bohemian, chic, mod kind of, you know, fashion. This one actually makes me think of, you know, 90s models, you know, like Kate Moss or maybe like Drew Barrymore during the 90s having you know that grunge fashion and then smoking cigarettes because as you guys know in the 80s 90s especially in the 90s like cigarettes were like almost an accessory for you know people and celebrities so this is Nirvana Amethyst by Elizabeth and James and then I have a very faint tobacco fragrance this is mostly a honey coconut sweet fragrance with hints of tobacco this is from Zara from their tobacco collection. I have the older bottle. This is rich, warm, and addictive. As I said, this is mostly a honey, coconut, sweet fragrance. I always say that for me, this one smells like fruitcake without that boozy quality in your fruitcakes or rum cake. This has honey, coconut, tobacco, sandalwood, and cedar. And what I get a lot is honey, that very smooth sandalwood, creaminess from coconut, and a very slight hint of tobacco. My son loves this one so much, and he always describes this one as a vanilla fragrance. Add the tobacco in here in the deep dry down, or like in the end of the scent, and it smells like, you know, after you hold some cigarettes on your hands, or hold some tobacco leaves, or whatever, and then you smell your hands, it smells like, you know, how that's, that's the kind of tobacco that I smell in this one. Not really dry, not super wet, not really fresh tobacco leaves, but you know, more like a hint or an idea of that tobacco in the deep dry down in the end of this. Then I want to talk about this one. This, you guys, Tobacco Maniac from the Golden Secret Collection Extract de Parfum by Theodoro Scalotinis. This, if okay, if Nirvana Amethyst is like the ultimate tobacco in that dry cigarette, smoky kind of tobacco scent. Tobacco Maniac is the ultimate honeyed, real, photorealistic tobacco. It's honey tobacco. And it's not even a very disgusting kind of tobacco scent. Have you guys smelled like dried tobacco leaves before they rolled them into cigars? Like it smells nice, but when you burn it, it's like it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. It depends on, of course, you know, the strain, not strain. Oh my God. It depends on the species, you know, what kind of tobacco leaves or how you treated tobacco leaves and all that. But, you know, just smelling fresh tobacco leaves, but not really the very dry ones. This is how this one smells like. And tobacco here is paired with honey. So honey is still very prominent here without being that animalic, pissy-like honey. It's just the right kind of sweetness, just the right touch of animalic note without being, you no know, leaning urine-like because we, we know honey can sometimes do that in fragrances. This has honey, vanilla, and patchouli. And vanilla is very strong in this fragrance. So if I could rate it, it's tobacco, vanilla, honey, and patchouli. The patchouli here is a very familiar patchouli. He used, I think he uses the same kind of patchouli in all his fragrances, but here, all the other notes just, you know, kind of boost or amp up the tobacco in the fragrance. So obviously I love this one, Tobacco Maniac. And this is the kind of scent that, you know, you can wear it. Like if you're okay, if you love tobacco fragrances and you feel like, oh my God, I can't wear tobacco heavy fragrances like during summertime or springtime, 
you can definitely wear this one. I am wearing this one. I spray this on my skin today. And this is the reason why I'm inspired to film this video because we are on a very warm 30 degrees Celsius today in Iceland, Reykjavik, Iceland. And this one is amazing. It smells nice. It's not overwhelming. It's not too much on the tobacco. It's not, you know, very thick. It's just right because I feel like vanilla is more prominent when it's warmer. So tobacco maniac you guys should try this he has a discovery set now available and you know you can choose the fragrances you want to try a customizable discovery set so now i'm more confident to you know tell you guys to try the fragrances from the house because you don't need to purchase or blind buy a full bottle so tobacco maniac and wait when he does his sales because this one would go for 150 euros but when he has a sale you can buy it for 90 so wait for the sale and extract the perfume you get a lot of use okay so i'm talking a lot about this one let's go to another tobacco fragrance this is jazz club by mason margella replica this is from the replica line and this one smells like a jazz club this is a very sweet boozy kind of tobacco scent so when you imagine a jazz club you have leather seats so you have the leather notes in here you have the boozy notes you have rum and vanilla you have the woody notes as well because of course you have the wooden bar and you have tobacco so that's where or how the fragrances in the house or this particular line replica because they try to replicate you know emotions experiences and places and this one really smells like that jazz club or a bar but without it being you know disgusting so this one has pink pepper for example neroli and lemon so it has those blasts of citruses on top and what I get a lot, what I love about this fragrance, aside from that beautiful tobacco, is sage and rum and styrax. So also vetiver, I get some vetiver here, but I get a very prominent sage and rum with that tobacco and vanilla and styrax, which is an amber um, kind of accord or an amber note. I would say that this one, in terms of the tobacco accord, the tobacco note, is very similar to that of rich, warm, and addictive in that it is paired with another chord, another note that's also very prominent. So with how honey and vanilla is very prominent here and tobacco second, rum and the boozy notes with sage is more prominent and then it's paired with tobacco. So tobacco here is not really dry. Again, it's very similar to the tobacco in Rich Warmer Addictive if you get the tobacco at the very end. So it's more like a honeyed sweet tobacco like tobacco maniac like if you get the tobacco note or tobacco cord and tobacco maniac and then tone it down like maybe five times and then add a lot of booze and sage that's what you get in jazz club so this is not really a very tobacco heavy fragrance i get a lot of rum here and sage as i said but of course it depends on your skin chemistry like which notes or which accords um are more forward on your skin but on me i get a lot of the boozy notes and the tobacco just adds the whole feel to the scent so aside from being a very active note or an active accord in the whole scent you know giving off that whole scent amps up the vibe and the feeling of the entire fragrance so that's jazz club and then I want to talk about another honeyed tobacco fragrance, but this one is more on the drier, grassier kind of tobacco scent. This is from the house of Serge Luton's, and this is Shergi. So this one is, in terms of accords, is more amber, sweet, and then it has honey and tobacco. So notes, this one has tobacco leaf, honey, amber, sandalwood this one is all this one also has incense which amps up the smoky tobacco feel to the scent but this one also has iris and hay so hay here is very prominent in the scent that's what gives the scent that almost like wet grassy kind of um scent. this is not just a tobacco scent it's not just honey tobacco so if you're imagining like oh people are saying this is honey tobacco yes it is honey tobacco but you have to consider that this one also has incense and it has hay so it has that dry grassy almost like metallic kind of smell to it and if you guys are familiar with Serge Luton's fragrances, they are never straightforward. Some of them are, you know, when you say like you want a woody vanilla, you get a woody vanilla, but then you're blasted with wax and, you know, like other notes. Just like with this one, you get honey, tobacco, you have amber, sweet notes, but then you have incense and hay. So let us compare Shergi with Tobacco Maniac because both have honey and tobacco. But I want to put Jazz Club in the mix. 
because I get hints of, you know, some accords in Jazz Club in shirt. I get hints of that typical masculine perfume scent in Shergi, which I also get in Jazz Club. I get it because of Sage in Jazz Club. But in Shergi, I think it is from notes like Amber combined with Iris. I get that, you know, typical masculine perfume kind of scent. And you get more of the honey and tobacco as this one dries down. And I noticed that this one, the amber and honey are more prominent when it's super cool. So that's why I consider this as a perfect fall and winter scent. Right now, I sprayed it on my skin. I get more sandalwood, get more musk and iris. Amber is more forward. But in the deep dry down, tobacco, hay, and incense are the ones that I get. So... If you want something that's not really that forward on tobacco, just like Tobacco Maniac, because if you want tobacco, you get it here. But if you want something that, you know, where tobacco just plays and blends perfectly with all the other notes, giving or amping up all the other notes, giving you different experiences as you wear it in different seasons, Shergi is a nice fragrance to try. So tobacco here is just like tobacco in Jazz Club where it just amps up all the other fragrances and blends perfectly with them. So this is Shergi. And then I want to talk about Boisdoré from Van Cleef and Arpels. This is from their collection Extraordinaire. This one is primarily a vanilla sweet fragrance, just like how Zara's Rich Warm Addictive is. It's more vanilla. It's vanilla, almond, amber, tobacco. So this one, aside from tobacco, if tobacco is a tricky note for you, this has another tricky note. This has mineral notes. If I could describe to you guys how the scent is in terms of, you know, the presentation of notes, the presentation of accords, you get a lot of almond in the beginning. The only difference is that you get a hint of black pepper in the entrance plus the mineral notes. And I can't really explain how mineral notes smell in this fragrance, but it just adds a different kind of scent or accord that i can't really explain i can't pinpoint but it's something that almost smells like when you go to the spa and then you have you know those heated rocks or stones like the smell of that is what i get in here as well and as this one dries down especially if i wear this during fall and winter which is the best time to wear this by the way i get a lot of tonka bean and teak wood in the base tonka bean combined with vanilla as this one is drying down it's just great with that very buttery smooth but also powdery almond it's great but the tobacco here just like with the tobacco in um shurgi or in rich warm and addictive it's not really a very prominent note but if you are sensitive you really get it a lot in the fragrance you get the tobacco note as this one is drying down you don't get that in the first blast of the scent you don't get that in the entrance you get a hint of that as it's developing it's combined with almond and cedar and vanilla cedar is even more prominent on my nose and on my skin if i really try to dissect the notes and smell it i smell cedar more than tobacco but you know you get that hint of tobacco and it's more like a drier kind of tobacco not very you know wet and honeyed like in tobacco maniac more or less similar to the quality of tobacco in shergi you know something dry something damp but not overly dry but not super honeyed as well so it's that kind of scent and another fragrance that's more or less similar to watery in terms of how tobacco is, I just want to talk about Olala, and this is from Teo Cabanel. This one basically is a sandalwood fragrance, but I honestly get a strong tobacco and oris in the middle of the fragrance. So this one has hazelnut and saffron, oris, tobacco, sandalwood, tonka bean, and musk. So when I spray this, I get that beautiful blast of, you know, chestnuts. It's creamy, powdery, nutty. It's more like combining chestnut and sandalwood. That's what I immediately got in the scent. And I fell in love with this scent from my sample. So I get a lot of sandalwood, a lot of, you know, the chestnut in the entrance, a hint of sweetness as well. But I noticed that as this one was drying down, developing on my skin, it became an entirely different fragrance in the middle because I get a lot of oris and tobacco. And tobacco here is drier. So it's a drier kind of tobacco leaning to 
a very dry tobacco like Nirvana Amethyst. But the only difference is that tobacco here, the dry tobacco, is paired with that almost carrot-like vegetal orris. So that's the second layer of the fragrance. And as this one is drying down, it comes, it goes back to that sandalwood kind of musky scent without the nuttiness and sweetness from chestnut and saffron. So this is a beautiful fragrance, a beautiful sandalwood fragrance. It's a beautiful orris fragrance. It's also a beautiful tobacco fragrance if you get the tobacco. And I really get the tobacco in the middle of the scent. So I love this one, obviously. I love the fact that I get different kinds of fragrances. I get, you know, I get to experience as this fragrance is developing into different stages. So this is Ola La by Teo Cabanel. If you love orris, if you love sandalwood, if you love powdery, nutty, woody fragrances, Ola La is a must try, you guys. You should really try it. It's really nice. Another fragrance here that I should have talked about together with Tobacco Maniac, Jazz Club, and Rich, Warm, and Addictive. This one is from Kayali, Invite Only Amber 23. I didn't get the tobacco in this fragrance when I first got it, but after maybe a couple of weeks, as I kept on spraying this one, and this one, I think the tobacco blooms and all the other notes, they bloom when it's cooler. So it's perfect fall and winter scent. More winter, on my in my opinion. So anyway... I get the tobacco in the sillage of this scent. So this is more of a cinnamon amber fragrance, you know, as a whole. It's more cinnamon amber, but tobacco together with rum, that boozy tobacco accord, I get a lot in the sillage of the scent, in the deep dry down of the scent. So if I say that I get the tobacco note in the end of the scent in Rich, Warm, and Addictive, it's the same with Amber 23 but it's paired with some booze. So this one is a beautiful scent. So if you love cinnamon, if you love your amber fragrances, and you're okay with having rum and tobacco, and this one is a very, like it was a very risky fragrance to pull off because notes like cherry, chocolate, hazelnut, I think this also has hazelnut, vanilla, cinnamon, amber, tobacco, having all of those and rum, it can be, you know, it can either go really well or you know it can go like down the drain you know but this one it was very tricky for me at the beginning and i actually really wanted to get more of the gourmand notes but then i realized that on my skin this one is more cinnamon amber tobacco and rum and again tobacco is more of like a very boozy honeyed tobacco this one also has honey as well so this is like a distant cousin of Rich, Warm, and Addictive together with Jazz Club. But try to tone down maybe the rum in Jazz Club. Take the sage away and then put some honey and gourmand notes. That's Invite Only. I really like this one too. Invite Only Amber 23 by Kayali. And the last fragrance that I have is another photorealistic experience of tobacco as a note and tobacco as something that you would smoke. This is Smoke by Acro Fragrances. I only have a sample. I always tell you guys, if I could, I get every single one from this house. It's amazing. The fragrances are amazing. So Acro's Smoke is a smoky tobacco fragrance. It is amber, aromatic, woody, and sweet accords. In terms of notes, this one has smoke, tobacco, cade oil, benzoin, and Tonka. When you look at the notes, you would imagine, hey, maybe this one is similar to Shurgi. This one has smoke, this one has tobacco, Shurgi has incense and tobacco. This one has Cade oil, while Shurgi has, you know, benzoin. This one also has benzoin. Maybe it's similar. This one, you guys, is a whole experience. Like this, together with Nirvana Amethyst, that's just like your 90s grunge dream, you know? Nirvana Amethyst is the tobacco that you light up. This one smells like cigarettes. This is the result. This is what you smell after lighting up the cigarette. So with the whole idea behind Acro Fragrances is that they are supposed to embody or they are supposed to symbolize different addictions that we have, either with, you know, chocolate or... um smoking the green plant in haze 
or it could be you know love making and night it's about people's addiction with smoking cigarettes and it's a whole experience like if tobacco and jazz club just gives the whole you know ambiance gives you the whole idea of the place this one gives you the whole idea of the experience of smoking without smoking you know what i mean so what i get a lot in here is of course that smoke smoke is almost like metallic it's not the kind of scent that you get when you have incense in your fragrance it's different it's literally smoke it's almost a kind of ashy coal like scent more like if i could describe maybe cape heartache from imaginary authors that one has a burnt resinous wood kind of a cord very similar to this minus the resinous quality so it's like burnt wood basically and then you have tobacco tonka bean and benzoin tonka bean and benzoin just add a little bit of softness to the whole scent so otherwise it would be really sharp with smoke and tobacco and cade oil i think there is another fragrance if i'm not mistaken i think imaginary authors um city on fire has cade oil i'm not really so sure i haven't tried that one that's another fragrance that i want to try having that whole burnt wood match kind of scent this one has that so again this one just embodies or symbolizes the whole act of smoking and this smells not directly like your tobacco fresh tobacco or damp tobacco or your cigars this one smells like a lit up cigarette so this is smoke from Acre. I just had to look it up. A City on Fire has burnt match. Yes, it has that. And it has juniper. And Cade Oil is basically like from juniper after, you know, go going through a process. So Cade Oil is the one that's present in smoke, which gives that whole like burnt wood kind of scent. And A City on Fire has Cade Oil and burnt match. And when I talked about burnt match, I thought of Sweetly Known because... Sweetly known from Unknown Pleasures, I only have a decan from Emmy. I only have very, very little left. So this one is a very sweet fragrance. It's caramel. It has cocoa, I think. But this one also has burnt match. And it was that burnt caramel, burnt match kind of scent in here that really drew me to it. I love this one. Let me know, you guys, where I can get this one. This is really nice. Anyway, that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you for sharing a big chunk of your day watching today's video. I was just super inspired to film this tobacco fragrances kind of lineup or tobacco in fragrances because I decided to spray this one all over my skin today, Tobacco Maniac. So I just wanted to talk about all the other tobacco fragrances I have in my collection. I don't really have a lot of tobacco forward fragrances, but in these fragrances that I mentioned, I get the tobacco note, I get the tobacco accord, and they are interpreted in many Many different ways dry tobacco honey tobacco cigarette kind of tobacco or a burnt cigarette kind of tobacco scent i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know by clicking the like button as i always say in every single video have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one